In this video, we are taking a first look at these, the brand new ASICS Kayano 29. Stability Shoe HQ here at 40 Runs. Now, do you wear Stability Shoes? Which ones have you bought this year? Maybe you went for the Tempest, maybe you went for the Guide 15, or maybe you've been waiting for the brand new. Kayano, so Kayano 29, 29 editions of this shoe. It's amazing, really, when you think about it. Um, they made some uh, changes to the shoe, which I think has improved it. We'll get onto that uh, in just a sec. Um, but before we get into that, just as a heads up, I was sent this shoe by ASICS, but I'm not getting paid by ASICS to make this video, although that would be quite nice. Uh, and as always on 40 Runs, I'm going to say anything I like. Okay, let's do stats and features and get that done first. 165 pounds, I'll come on to that. Uh, we've got a, a stretch a knit upper on the shoe. Uh, we've got Flight Foam Blast Plus layer added to the shoe, which is one of the big things on the new shoe. Uh, we've got the light truss system. You'll uh, notice versus the previous version, there's no plastic underneath people. They've gone with the light truss system. Um, so you've still got the stability, but some of that plastics being removed, uh, we've got uh, a very, very, very durable outsole, a hard plus, uh, which will probably last you, as you guess, 10 million years. We've got, what else, uh, gel in the heel, ASICS gel. After I wonder how long ASICS will be putting gel in their shoes. Let me know in the comments, let's have a guess. Uh, fits true to size, UK 9.5, weighs 11 point, oh, what was it, I wrote it down. 11.7 ounces. Uh, the shoe says it's lighter than the previous version. And I weighed this previous version I have in. It was 11.75 ounces, so it's marginally lighter. Now that is 300 and help me out, people. 333 grams, 334 grams from memory when I weighed it uh, before this video, uh, for filming this video. Uh, what else we've got on the shoe? I think that's probably about it. It's a Kayano, so like a Nimbus, it's got a very comfortable heel section. Um, but yeah, I think that's it in terms of the major changes oh yeah the shoe's got a 10 mil drop that was the other thing that i forgot to mention okay right so th this is like the king of stability right and when i say about the price 165 pounds is a lot of money but it's the same price as a tempest okay but what you're getting with the kayano is a shoe that is going to last you for infinite infinite infin infinite years that's what i wanted to say um it is a it's one of those shoes that will just go and go and go until you sort of it, i don't until you want to replace it and that's the thing so i moan on this channel about the cost of running shoes and the price of everything uh, which i think is valid to be honest but with the Kayana, I'm going to give it a bit of a pass because I know that these things just last forever. And if you're in a stability shoe and you need a, a, a basic or a run-of-the-mill stability shoe that's going to be able to do everything, then at £165, you're going to get a shoe here that will literally do everything and do it forever. Now, in terms of differences between the two, don't know if you can see that. Let me go back a bit um, if it can focus. But... This uh, new version, the, the upper's an improvement, I would say. It's just, with that stretchy material, it's just that little bit more comfortable. Uh, the heel area is still very similar. Um, it definitely, this version, the new one, feels less intrusive in terms of stability, where they put the light truss system in it. But overall, the two shoes feel um, similar in terms of the uppers. But with the Flight Foam Blast Plus added to this, it's just softened it up enough to make a difference because well, that was one of the sort of criticisms uh, for the many years that the, the Kayano has been out is that it was kind of firm, kind of boring, kind of unresponsive. But what ASICs have done this year by introducing the Flight Foam Blast Plus into a lot of their sort of daily trainers or, you know, everyday shoes, they've softened a lot of them up and given them more, a, a more energetic ride and it is noticeable in this version versus 28. Um, so I think if you've got 28, um, and you're at the point where you want to change it, then the 29 is going to do everything and more. But I'm guessing with your 20, 
you're 28 like mine it's still got like plenty of miles on the tank and that is again i go back to what i just said this is the thing with the shoe it, it's so well built so well put together you know it, it will last you for as long as you need it to last you so for me the 29 first impressions um versus 28 and now we've done uh when's it so that's what 16 miles in the shoe um for sort of first impressions initial view of it versus 28 um i think the improvements are great the flight phone blast plus is great um but it does everything that you'd expect from a kayano and it's not drifted too much away from where it was the light trust system is a, is a good introduction in terms of the removing some of that complexity of the stability um and I, although it's heavy which is frustrating for stability shoe wearers it's not overly noticeable uh, versus some of the other shoes out there that are heavier so yeah the Kayano 29 is, is an evolution from 28 um, it's definitely an improvement with the flight phone blast plus so if you are looking to you know upgrade your Kayano, then do have a look at the 29 because there's nothing here to fear